This was a huge breakthrough for HUD to make the smart decision uh, to allow $2 billion available to the country to be used for ongoing uh, rehabilitation, reclaiming vacant properties, and basically putting our cities and communities back together. Uh, we tried to get the Banking Committee to act smartly, and they refused. Uh, and so we took it right to the administration. And uh, luckily for us, we've got a president um, who's thinking outside of the box. His administration is leaning forward, looking for ways uh, to help our recovery. So again, this basically frees up $2 billion, or at least allows us to apply for $2 billion available for our rebuilding efforts in St. Bernard, in Orleans, in Jefferson, in Calcasieu, in many parishes. You know, the foreclosure rate um, from financial uh, collapse wasn't great for us, um, but the foreclosure rate from Mother Nature was quite startling, and we're still trying to recover from the storms of four years ago. We hope so. I mean, this is $2 billion that's already been appropriated by Congress, but basically there was a hands-off sign here because we never could get the Banking Committee to allow um, in the legislation the stabilization program to be used for distressed properties due to natural disasters. But we have a smart uh, president, we've got a smart uh, secretary of HUD, and they're thinking outside of the box about these issues, so they're allowing us to use these funds. So neighborhood organizations, nonprofits, already NORA, I believe, is applying uh, for funding. We have 65,000 properties alone in Orleans Parish, which this money could be uh, tapped into to help restore, rehabilitate. So again, it's all about continuing to push to help our neighborhoods, whether it's Lakeview or whether it's New Orleans East or Mid-City uh, or the Lower Ninth Ward, St. Bernard Parish, and throughout the state. It's not just for Orleans, uh, but it will affect this decision, parishes that had the most damage from hurricanes Gustav, Ike, Rita, or Katrina.